All right, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Aura. We back in the new era channel. How we doing? But it's been a while, man. I'm coming back here again to make another tight beat. I honestly do not know what type of beat this is. I didn't really make this in the style of like anyone in particular. I probably just put something in the title, but I'm honestly not sure what type beat this is. It's just more of like an ambient melodic. But I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, basically how to make <laughs> this type beat. This video is also sponsored by Unison. Shout out to my boy Seb. He's always hooking us up with new plugins. Today's video, I'm previewing the Unison 808 machine. Just dropped literally yesterday. I recorded this video a few times but when i was editing it i just did not like how it turned out so hopefully this is going to be the good the good take you guys know i'm giving you quality over quantity you know what i'm saying really trying to get y'all the best videos but yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into it i'm going to preview the beat for you guys and then uh, we'll go from there Alright, so pretty cool stuff, man. Like, uh, I was very happy. It's just, this beat just put a smile on my face when I made it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna show you guys the original loop. This is just a loop that I made a while ago. I decided to put it in because I really love this loop. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I did. So starting off, I uh, kept it very simple, and with, you know, for the actual loop itself, I had to cut the lows out. I pretty much only, I obviously only take the lows out when the sub bass is not playing. Mind you, the sub bass does kind of sound a little weird because the, you know, it's pitched. Obviously, I had to, I pitched up the uh, the loop so the bass is gonna sound a little weird. But um, you know, I always basically keep the EQ off whenever the sub bass is playing because you don't want to fuck up the sub bass. Obviously, if you would have it on while the sub sub bass was playing, then you know it would it would just mess the loop up. So I started it off with a simple clap. You already know how we do it. Pretty much the luger. Once I did that, I added some nice little open hats in here. I guess I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the loop uh, with it. I had this little open hat and then I just. Had like a little slide in here actually i'm gonna drag this out a little so yeah something cool i normally just like to fuck around with my open hats just to like make the beat a little bit different than the last one you know what i mean just just so like i could say that i i did something unique in this beat <laughs> and then went to the hi-hats i'll pretty much always do the same thing where i'll basically just make a two bar pattern make it very simple but sort of catchy uh I'll copy it over and then i'll just change up the second half of the actual pattern this way it's just a little bit different you know what i'm saying so it's not actually just a repeating two bar loop so i'll play the hi-hats here um Something cool. Added this dumb little perk. You can barely even hear it, but added that joint right in the beginning. It only plays over you know, four bars. So. And then to the beauty of the beat, man. Beauty and the beat. All right, my fault. So the 808 machine, man. This shit is gas. This plugin is actually insanely simple. There's not a whole lot of buttons. You know what I mean? It's it's basically every sort of like effect slider that you need. You know what I mean? They don't add like all these different like filters and plugins and you know all this extra shit. They keep it very simple and very you know very basic. I'm gonna copy the uh, actual instance of plugin here just so I don't mess up the original 808. But basically, what you do is very very simple. You're gonna choose one of the five little presets here. You have clean clean, dirty, lo-fi, unique, and aggressive. Obviously, I like clean. I'm a big spin Zeta weight kind of fan, so I was trying to chase something around that style. And then you basically just hit this little button. It's like a little slot machine. And it's going to give you, it's going to, you know, mix a lot of different sounds together and, you know, blend them into one. Oh, that's like a Zeta weight. That's actually, hold on, that's actually gas. I'm going to export that one. Now. I'm going to use, I'm going to put that in a drum kit that's never dropping. But basically from that, you can, you know, change all of these knobs. This is why I like it the most. You can set the sustain you can set the you know the release like you can set all of that the decay they have a nice little glide feature they have a side chain feature as well they have a kick feature so this just sort of like obviously puts a little bit of a kick like a bit of a boom bigger boom on the on the beginning of the 808 makes it hit more right off the bat that's actually a fucking oc sample right here like i would be using this dead ass you turn the knock up the transient i actually don't know what transient does i'm not gonna lie bring it back to normal but yeah so i'm gonna hit it again just to show you guys how many 808s you can really make we got like a simple 808 here i would change this a little i have more of like a decay that's that's hard holy shit now let's change it to like dirty let's let's do something real real crazy 
Ooh. This is just more of just like a kick with a bit of bass behind it. I fuck with that. Anyways, you guys get the gist, man. You can see everything that you can change within here. Basically, even if you, you know, get a random 808 that, you, let's say you don't like, right? Like, let's say you didn't like this, you could, you know, you could basically change everything about it, you know, essentially, um, and sort of customize it to your liking. So not only is it like a preset giver, but it's also a preset maker, you know what I mean? So you can make your own presets and do everything you want. You just click save, and call it, you know, no one. But yeah, man, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and play it out with the beat. I'm gonna show you the 808 that I made here. So this is what I made. So it just sounds tough. It sounds kind of like a, like a dirtier spins with a high cut. You know what I mean? Like something like that. You know how I love the spins 808. So I sort of fucked with it because I sort of replicated it. Sort of, sort of, sort of. I'll play out the 808 uh, pattern and then just play it out with everything. <laughs> And then in the second half of the hook, I added some extra shit, just some extra pedaz, you know what I'm saying? I added a snare here. I don't know what this is, I just fucked around and made that shit. Added the DP hat. But I pissed it down. A rack kick, bro. When have I not used the rack kick? I pretty much always use this shit. That shit hits so nice. I to any of these. Oh, here's the yeah, here's the kick. I did add a little bit. That shit's gap. All right, then. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the whole beat. That shit, hey, in my opinion, that shit is gas. Like, not everyone's gonna like it, but I, that shit is hard. And on top of that, you know what I'm saying? I get a new 808. Basically, every time that I can use this fucking plugin, I'm gonna have a new 808 that I can export and add to my drum kit, my stash. I recommend you guys all make a stash. Yeah, man, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe. The link to this plugin will be down below. The plugin is 50% off right now, so get it while you can. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.